This is an NHS practice. You can have an NHS treatment provided as well as a private treatment. NHS treatment means uh, under the National Health Service, there's a contract we have, the practice has with the uh, PCT, which is the Primary Care Trust, uh, and uh, they give a funding for uh, treatments to be carried out on all the patients uh, within the practice. Patients uh, pay for their treatment if they are working, not claiming any benefits. Or those uh, who are on benefits, they do not have to pay for anything on the NHS treatment. Um, but the type of treatment that we can carry out is limited on the NHS. It's not as if that we can provide implants or any extensive very um, uh, treatment requiring too much of funding. Obviously, the funding would not be for those type of treatment. We do provide orthodontic treatment for children um, until under the age of 18. Uh, and uh, then after, obviously, if there's any treatment required for the orthodontics, they have to pay for. Uh, for uh, uh, other type of uh, treatments that we carry out is all in the NHS. Um, and the thing that you can also do is mix and provide private treatment as well as NHS. Those treatments which are not um, under the NHS will be only private. So obviously a practice can run as an NHS as well as private or some practices in areas where there is a uh, uh, patients or people who are well off, who are uh, sort of in um, like Solihull or some of those areas, they have own no NHS contracts and they run private practices. Patients there have to pay for the treatment privately and the fees are set by the practice themselves or in some cases they are under a contract with the dental plan or they have a planning, uh, some sort of a dental plan like a BUPA or so where they pay a monthly fee and then uh, they are um, reimbursed for that afterwards when the treatment is carried out or according to the treatment required. I feel a practice manager um, needs to have a very good understanding of how a practice runs, um, the staff that are employed within the practice and the contract value of the practice, um, whether it be a private practice or an NHS practice, uh, how many staff you have, whether they be qualified or unqualified staff, whether they be trainee nurses or qualified nurses, uh, therapists, hygienists and dentists. Dental nursing, how did I get into dental nursing? Very interesting question. Okay, I did a couple of weeks work experience from school and absolutely loved it. My parents had other ideas but unfortunately I chose to take the path of dental nursing. However, that has been rewarded tenfold. Okay, there are many types of training uh, available to our staff and it will depend on actually where they are within their career. If they are a trainee dental nurse, then they need to attend college one day a week um, for a duration of no more than two years, depending on the student themselves is how quick they can develop. Um, they also have to have observations throughout the practice, um, possibly when they're doing a crown preparation or a fill-in, or maybe the decontamination room and the preparation of sterilised instruments.